Hey guys, welcome back to Chandler Burton Entertainment and today we're going to be checking out a brand new band and a brand new song that I've never heard of before. This is recommended by my friend Caden, so thank you so much my sweet friend, I appreciate you here. Today we're going to be checking out the song uh, Borderline by the band Hidden Figures. Um, this song actually dropped six days ago, so it's pretty new, um, so I'm really excited to check it out here. I have no idea what to expect. That's always kind of the fun thing about doing a reaction. You never know what you're going to expect. So we'll definitely go ahead and check it out here. Also as well, if you guys are interested, I do have a playlist on Apple Music called Chandler Burton Entertainment Songs. Essentially all that it is is every song that I react to, if it is available on Apple Music, I put into a playlist for you guys to enjoy. And that'll be linked below in the description. But without further ado, let's go and get checked out the song. All right, perfect. So this is going to be the band Hidden Figures with their song Borderline. This is actually featuring Ryan Kirby, a Fit for a King, and I'm a huge Fit for a King fan, so I'm super excited to see uh, how the song will sound. Let's go ahead and get into it here in three, two, and one. There's a time Go, dude. sick i was so sick i'm gonna listen to it again and i'll get my thoughts on that for sure incredible 
All right, my friends. So again, that was the band Hidden Figures with their song Borderline that was featuring Ryan Kirby of Fit for a King. Again, that was recommended by my friend Candace. So thank you so much for just being a great person. You know, and I I just adore you. You're awesome. I really appreciate you. I uh, I really like that song, man. And not only was it like super heavy, the chorus was fantastic, super catchy chorus, super heavy verses. And then when Ryan Kirby came in with his awesome screams, I think Ryan Kirby is one of the best vocalists in the game. And so it's always nice to hear his vocals on any track that he features in, or even his own music. Super, super cool. I really like the lyrics on that, man. I really, really like the lyrics on that. I mean, that definitely deals with like, you know, mental health type of issues talking about like you know sometimes it's hard to cope you know you're at the end of your rope and you know hypothetically speaking you know like that's what's that's what's really interesting about like writing songs and listening to music is that you can kind of tell a story of how you're feeling um and i think the song does a really good job of telling that story of how it feels to be like this and you know so many bands and so many people write about it and i, I love that i love that they're able to express their emotion in a healthy way, you know, instead of turning to like, you know, drugs, alcohol, pornography, you know, they decide to take that energy that they have that's really hurting them on the inside and they put it into like a healthy mindset of like, I'm going to put it in music so that other people can understand like what I go through and for the people that are too afraid to say anything, hopefully that that can be a voice for them um, that really help them out. And I think that song does a good job of explaining that, you know, like it is okay to not be okay sometimes. And I wish more people would understand, like, it's it's all right. Like, we're all going to have those days where, even if you don't struggle with depression or anxiety, um, you know, we're all going to have those days where we feel sad. We feel kind of like, eh, we're all going to have those days. You know, we're human. We're not perfect. And so for those struggling, you know, just keep holding on. Like, your life is worth something here. You know, I've, I've experienced that myself, being sad a lot all the time. And, you know, sometimes you just have to, you know, keep pushing through because I, I, pain is temporary. And again, it's okay to not be okay. I really do believe that. So thank you again, uh, Candace, so much for the song. I really appreciate it. What'd you guys think of the song? Let me know down below. If there is a song that you'd like me to react to, the best way to get a hold of me is through email, and I'll leave that information below in the description. But again, this has been Chandler Burton Entertainment. If you do like what you see, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button. That does go a long way. But until next time, I hope y'all take care.